we will all offer the prayer of meditation. Father of blessings, I did it, I did it. I act as if I had done all this, acting as if I'm better like a goat because of my strength. That's why I don't have blessings in my late age and my life's not working out and I have all these sufferings and to make my children suffer. That's how I've lived. Now may we only become sheep. May we only give benefit to others. May all our diseases be healed. May this be a blessed time where we fix our destiny. The demons that have tormented me, we believe they will be cast out. In Jesus' name, we thank you and bless. Amen. So, to, so today, let's become a, a shining person. That's when I have blessings in my late age, my diseases are healed. And because I become smart, my children become smart, so we receive health and we become someone who shines. Someone who shines... So I shine and I make others shine. Why? Why do you why do you study so much? Because you want this you want as you graduate, you know, when you have your doctorate, you want to become someone who's praiseworthy. So who is praiseworthy? Someone who shines. So if you become someone who shines, then you become healthy. You want your diseases healed, don't you? That's someone who shines. Why is it that we respect doctors? Because they heal our diseases, they shine. Why do we say these, these pharmacists, they, they shine? Because they heal our diseases. So in the world, they can't heal your disease. So someone who shines is someone who is healthy, someone who is successful, and someone who's smart. So if I become like that, then that goes down to my children, 1 Peter chapter 1 verse 18. So because they're smart, they'll succeed, they're healthy. In the world, you succeed as a bad person, but but to succeed in a good way. And that's someone who's a star. So because we don't shine according to this word, you know, these people who have affairs and they, they ruin their families, you know, we call these actors stars. These people who don't even live as men in the past, you know, entertainers, they weren't even treated as people. So how can they be stars? Let's find Daniel chapter 12, verse 3. No matter what anyone says, let's shine. If I shine, then it's me that's healthy. It's me that succeeds. It's my children who become smart and our children become healthy too. So how precious is this to shine? Let's see if this is true or not. Daniel chapter 12, verse 3. Let's read it together. Those who have insight will shine brightly like the brightness of the expanse of heaven, and those who lead the many to righteousness like the stars forever and ever. Amen. So let's see how health comes. So when you read it, you can't see about the health. So we all want to become someone who shines. Who shines? Those who have wisdom will shine brightly like the brightness of the expanse of heaven. And so in the darkness, they're going to shine brightly and they're going to lead many to righteousness. So to make people return to God by forced out repentance, that's someone who shines forever like the stars, like the stars in the darkness. So what does it say here? Those who lead the many to right to the righteousness, that's someone who shines forever. So it doesn't just end with you your name being praiseworthy. You know, our presidents, all the way from Lee Sung Man, you see, all the way till now, if any of them shone, either their family went to prison or they went to prison, each one of them, they're left with a bad name. There's no one left with a good name. Why is that? Because they didn't know wisdom. So have a look here. Someone with wisdom, they're like the, the, 
the brightness of the expanse of heaven in the darkness. But James chapter 3 talks about two types of wisdom. Here it's talking about the wisdom of the heart. So if you want to receive wisdom, what do you what do you need to do? Let's find Proverbs chapter 13 verse 20. So who is it? Who is it that's wise? Well, it's someone who shines. Well, there's only two types of people on this earth. There are those who who belong to wisdom, and there are those who are who are foolish. Those who are foolish, Psalms 107 verse 17, they're suffering now. Because they don't repent, they have their sins remaining. Because of their sins, they suffer. So that's the foolish person. So not only do they suffer, but because they have their sin remaining, they'll go to hell. Not only do they suffer, but they're demons who can't say amen. So because you have demons inside of you, you can't go to those who are wise. Proverbs chapter 15, verse 12. So those, they'll go to these fake church, these fake churches where they're the foolish, where they don't repent. So let's read. He who walks with wise men will be wise, but the companion of fools will suffer harm. Amen. So if you have wisdom, you'll have health in your body. You're happy. You'll go to heaven. It's not just you that does well. Because you become smart, your children become smart. And so you become someone who shines. So, us receiving this, that's what forced our repentance, a life of faith is. That's why Proverbs chapter 13, verse 20, there's only two types of people. If you go to the wise, you'll receive wisdom. So, a pastor has to have wisdom. Jeremiah chapter 3, verse 15, to be a pastor. Without wisdom, that's a fake pastor. What, just because they come out from theological college and they lay hands on each other, that that's a pastor? Where, where do you see such lies in the Bible? Jeremiah chapter 3 verse 15. So it's someone who is wise, then they shine brightly. So we have to go to the wise to receive this wisdom because it's like with like. So you have to go to the wise to get wisdom. Otherwise, they're, otherwise you're all foolish. So who is it that has wisdom? Let's find Proverbs chapter 2 verse 10. So this wisdom is the best of medicine. It makes your heart joyful. There's nothing as good as wisdom and knowledge. So then you become smart, your body becomes healthy. If you look on TV, you see these pra- these respect-worthy people who have been invited and they say, oh, there's nothing as good as being healthy. Is that why we're born, to be healthy? So then, you know, if we weren't born, then at least, you know, we'd never be sick. No, that's beastly talk. They say that health is the best. No, going to heaven is the best. And then these idiots, these foolish beasts that are perishing, they will say, oh, it's okay to go to heaven and and, and uh, even if you're sick. It, it's, you know, it says, it's, no, if you have disease, you can't go to heaven. Psalms 103 verse 3, you have to have all your diseases healed. So how stupidly do they be? Does, you know, are we going to follow after that? Psalms 103 verse 3. So let's read together. For wisdom will enter your heart and knowledge will be pleasant to your soul. Amen. So this wisdom, it's not the wisdom that goes your head to your head, which is the worldly standard, which is dog pigs. It's not that doctorate. The wisdom that that goes into your heart is what God gives, this knowledge, this wisdom and knowledge. So then what happens? Are you sad or are you joyful? If you're joyful, Proverbs chapter 17, verse 22, joy in the heart is the best medicine, and that's why health comes to you. All your diseases will be healed. This wisdom heals all your diseases. You become smart. So if that happens to me, then my children receive all those blessings. That's the wisdom that goes to heaven. And that's why 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 15, without wisdom, you'll go to hell. What, you say you go to heaven by faith? Faith is the start of receiving the wisdom to go to heaven. But, you know, if you don't know this and you go to these churches, that's why you're a fake. So who is it, someone that shines, someone who's always joyful, who has wisdom and knowledge in their hearts? They're always joyful. They're smart so they can do, they can They know all things and then you receive the blessings of miracles. Let's find Proverbs chapter 17, verse 22. Uh, Proverbs chapter 3, verse 20. So who is someone that that shines? Someone who has these who has these miracles. You say, I want this too. Does God, God block? Why does he make you suffer so that you'll become someone who can receive this? 
So for me, for it to happen to me and to pass it to my children, you know, my children have to become smart and do well. That's when I become someone with blessings in my late age. Let's read. What does this knowledge do? It brings about miracles. By his knowledge, the deeps were broken up, and the skies drip with dew. Amen. So, what happens with this knowledge? The sea opens up. The sea, because it divides. You have all the shellfish and the the pearls, and you do well. All the people get to eat of this. This is the blessing you can receive. So, if you want to become someone who shines, you have to receive wisdom and knowledge. That's a true pastor. You have to go to the wise to receive wisdom. Because you've come here, you will receive wisdom. So, if you receive wisdom, what happens? Well, your heart becomes joyful. Because you have joy in your heart, this is the best medicine. Let's find Proverbs chapter seventeen, verse twenty-two. So, where do you get this health? You have to receive this wisdom and knowledge from God to go to heaven, to have health, for miracles to happen, for you to become smart. When the Red Sea parts, it's not just me eating by myself; it's the whole nation. And and what does He give us? Uh, beef, or did He give us fish? The uh, sh- the shellfish and all the all those things that are good for you. Abalone and seaweed and all those things that are good for you, and not just that, all these pearls receive all these blessings. This is the wisdom and knowledge that God gives. This is someone who shines. You know, I didn't want to say this, but I've I've ended up having to. So, what is it to shine? Shining. You shine by forced at repentance. This is incredible. Let's read together. A joyful heart is good medicine, but a broken spirit dries up the bones. So, a joyful heart. What do you become joyful by? Proverbs chapter two, verse ten. It's by knowledge. So, if you have wisdom, then knowledge comes. So, this knowledge makes you joyful, which is the best medicine. So the true health that God gives is someone who's received wisdom and knowledge to go to heaven. So if you go to the wise, you become someone who shines. That's why it's good that you've come here. So is it just me that does well? Well, one Peter chapter one verse eighteen, it go these blessings all go down to my children. So if my if you want your children to be healthy and to be smart, don't boil up a bear's paw. If if those bear paws were so great, then all the bears would be, you know, doing so well, would be so, you know, respectworthy. They say that because the bear's paw, it doesn't freeze on the ice. That's why they say it's so good for you. But but that's not what gives us health. It's joy. The joy, joy is the best of medicine. So this wisdom and knowledge makes us smart, makes miracles happen. So even if you research something, you do it so that miracles happen. So someone who shines is someone who's received wisdom, and they lead to many to the right way. So who is right in this world? Which religion? Which learning? It's only God who is good. So we have to return to God. Ephesians chapter two verse thirteen. How do we return to God? It's by the blood of Christ, four step repentance. So if we do four step repentance, we receive wisdom and knowledge. We return to God, and we lead many to the right way. That's when we shine forever. In the world, who is it that shines? What someone who's received the Nobel Prize? You know what's funny? It's these people who have received. These people who receive the Nobel Prize, some of them oppose the war, some of them support the war. So then, who's right? They're both wrong. That's not how you become someone who shines. So becoming someone who shines, this is what God has appointed. You have to receive the wisdom that goes to heaven. So you have to go to the wise. This wisdom brings about miracles. It gives you health. It makes your children smart. We have to all receive these blessings. This is a life of faith. This is what we've come for. So those people who haven't come here, you know, you feel so re- you feel so regretful. But but from now we can do well. So who is it else 
Who else is it that shines? Someone who leads people to the right way. So in Korea, we talk about heresy, but they don't know what heresy, and they're sitting in these her- in these um, churches of heresy. So not doing forced repentance, that is heresy. It's so sad. The true, they don't say anything, but it's the fakes who, who criticize the true. Now, let's proclaim this. Let's read together Ephesians chapter 2, verse 13. But now in Christ Jesus, you who formerly were far off have been brought near by the blood of Christ. Amen. So how do we get close to God? It's by only by the blood of Christ. Only God is good. Only God is right and good in all things. So we have to return to God. That's when we fix our destiny. And he, he makes all our desires fulfilled. So someone who makes people return to God, that's someone who shines forever. So these fakes who don't do forced at repentance. So it's only by what can we return to God? It's God who says it's only by the blood of Christ. And yet people are cursing forced at repentance. That's what's so sad. What is this saying here? It's not just someone who shines. It's to have all your diseases healed. It's to be happy and healthy and someone who's smart. And doesn't matter what age you are, but for miracles to happen. Because if you have knowledge, miracles will happen. So how much money do you want in your lives? How, well, how, much, how many thousands of dollars? You know, if miracles happen, then... It's, it's, then it, that's what happens. But why doesn't it give to you? Because even now you're suffering. So if you're given, then, then you'll suffer more. Why do you ruin your children? If they're not worthy and you give them money, they'll be sitting in a pub and, and getting disease. They'll ruin their lives gambling. You know, you say one night of vigil is hard, but if you're gambling, all night long you'll be dragged by demons and you ru- get to gamble. And, and you ruin your body. Those people who do a lot of night shifts, you see what their health's like. They even say that they ruin their bodies. They say that even as they do it. But when we do vigil, what happens? It's not just me that lives. We save our country. So even though it's the same thing, let's go the way of blessings. So who is it that ruins the country? The fake pastors. They completely ruin the country. And that's why God says, you Sadducees and Pharisees who deserve wrath, you see what happens to their children. There are people here who are descendants of fake pastors. See what happens. You go to Europe. What happens to the descendants of these fake pastors? They don't go to church. And that's why they're empty. As more and more time goes by, the descendants of these fake pastors, they will be ruined in an even more terrible way. Who is it that deserves wrath? Those who live a life of of a fake faith. Matthew chapter 23. What? You, what they're a pastor? What? You, they attend church? So what's a denomination? These factions. Let's find Romans chapter 2, verse 8. They do not follow Jesus, the truth. They do not follow God's word. You've come here to become someone who shines. If you don't become someone who shines, can you go to heaven or not? Without wisdom, you cannot go to heaven. So someone who shines automatically evangelizes. So have you, when you evangelize, does it work? Does a fake church work? You have to make people come to the right way. That's when you shine eternally. So how is it I have to live? So some a life that shines is a life that goes to heaven. That's why your health becomes better. This this joy in your heart, it it's the best medicine and this knowledge. You become smart, so you and your children become smart. Why is it that you have a head that's like a stone? You look at people who are smart, they either die early 
they pretend they it seems that they've succeeded, but then they ruin the country. That's how they end, or they ruin the comp the their company. Who ruined the Soviet Union? It's those people that are supposedly smart. To not become someone like that, we have to receive God's wisdom and knowledge. So, without me realizing, if I haven't become someone who shines, if I can't make many people come to the right way, that person is darkness. That darkness is evil. So, you look around yourself. You look at people who can't evangelize. You may try to evangelize, and you might try, but does it work? At the beginning, when you're all burning, you try to evangelize. That's not burning. It's because you were dragged around by demons, and then you start to get a little bit of freedom, and then so you you think it's good, but you're not right yet. It's when you truly, it's when you become true. That's when. You entrust everything to the Lord. You think it's you that evangelizes? It's the Lord inside of you that does it. Even though I travel on the plane so much, you know the the there's someone who who supervises in the in the in the plane. It's but it's when I went to America last time. That's the first time I evangelized to him. Before that. It wouldn't come out. I would just say before, be happy. But last time, you know, I spoke to him the whole night through, and even some of the the ladies who were listening, they were saying, "Oh, I'm going to live like, you know." They said they would try to live like that, and before that, I couldn't. That evangelist wouldn't come out. So just because you shine. To those people who hate to keep them in, keep him in in their heart, the words won't come out. So we have to live rightly. Let's read together. But to those who are selfishly ambitious and do not obey the truth, but obey unrighteousness, wrath, and indignation. Amen. So if you go to those places that make factions, do you follow the truth or not? Who is the truth? Jesus. John chapter fourteen verse six. He says, "I am the way and the truth." So they talk about Jesus, but they don't follow him. That's the denominations and factions. They lie so much, and that's me. That's you and I. So from today, let's go the way of of light. Let's listen to the words of the wise. This wisdom is only what God gives, which is in your heart. And with this wisdom, you become healthy. Not only to go to heaven, but you become healthy because you're always smiling. You're happy. You become smart. Your children become smart. With this blessing, let's save others. Let's lead them to the right way. That's someone who shines. Is this Amen? So by the blood of Christ, we return to God. You make many. So you can make many return to the right way. So, what is the blood of Christ? It's four step repentance, Nehemiah chapter nine. So, it's only by four step repentance that we can receive wisdom and knowledge. It's only by four step repentance that we can go to God and receive this wisdom and knowledge. And this Jesus that we talk about, He is truth. This truth, John chapter seventeen verse seventeen, is the Word. Romans chapter two verse eight. But those. Who make denominations of factions? They do not follow the truth. They're demons. Even though it says this in the Word, that's what they go and do. How much do they want to receive disasters and curses, and eat up their children and ruin the country? So, two thousand years ago, when the gospel entered Europe, so these this gospel two thousand years ago, what's happened to Europe? You see them being more and more ruined. You see the churches empty. How much do they fight with those denominations? What and Korea is following after that? Let's not follow after that and go to hell. Let's not kill ourselves and our children. Let's heal all our diseases with joy. Let's heal all our diseases. Let's be patriots. Let's save our children. Let's do more well, and let's save many people. Let's be victorious with four-step repentance. So whatever happens to you today. Quickly, by the blood of Christ, to repent of that as my sin and change it to wisdom and knowledge. Then I'll receive health, and I'll get rid of all those disasters. And even that person, I will lead to the right way. That is a life that shines. It's Jesus who is light. 
so we'll do more well. Let's all pray. Lord, all this time we've said, Lord, Lord, we've said, Jesus, Jesus, we've said, God, God, but we've been such enemies and only gone the way of disasters and curses. That's why my problems didn't work out and my my diseases got worse. And I pass those disasters and diseases down to my children. Denominations and factions do not follow the truth. That is a religion of demons. Denying the Lord, that is heresy. And yet, are there still evil people who still aren't living a life of light? May they return to the light. May we proclaim this so they can. Starting from me, may I be a servant of power that has my diseases healed, someone who is overflowing with joy. This knowledge makes us have joy. And with this wisdom, we'll go to heaven. May we show others at, with our lives of witnessing. And may this be a time where we all receive the blessings of being your children. By forced out repentance, may we shine. Only It's only by the light of Christ that shines upon me that we can shine. We've realized, we've received this false state repentance. Starting from me, may I receive blessings. The world is in darkness. Our country is in darkness. We're worrying about whether there's going to be war. With this light, may we cast away those disasters and curses. May we be workers of of power and love that can block war. Let's call upon the Lord three times. Lord, Lord, Lord. 